situation. All right, uh, Bridgewater here, a little closer to home. We're reporting about nine and a half inches right now in traffic here, moving at a slow pace, but luckily not like wall to wall traffic out there. That's where we find Seven's Carrie Corrado. She's live with more, and uh, is this, a, is this a, a popular route through town, or just tell us where you are and, and uh, what, what it's like there, Carrie. Yeah, well, we sure got a lot of snow in Bridgewater, and I don't think it's letting up anytime soon. I want to give you a look at these roadways. They are covered. In fact, they actually look the same as the parking lot we are standing in right now. We aren't seeing as many cars as we did throughout the day, which is a good thing. Although one major problem drivers seem to be dealing with is the ice on their windshield. I'll tell you what, this stretch of highway is horrible. It was bad coming in for a while. We were following two plows. The road started off looking like this, and then not long after, looked like this. Drivers taking it slow in the snow. It's a battle in Bridgewater to beat out the rough blizzard-like conditions. We're coming from Cape Cod. Uh, we just moved from New York after six years. Never owned a car until last week. And uh, here we are, uh, reacclimating ourselves to being drivers again. We're just trying to stay at the tire tracks in front of us. At a rest stop along Route 24 in Bridgewater, some drivers are making a little pit stop. I pulled over just, I, I, that's the reason I stopped here was because it was a little bit snow and icy. Whether you use your hands or a small pocket scraper. No, it's like a little scraper I've had for years. Whatever works to get the job done to free your windshield of that ice and snow. Some drivers have advice if you're planning on heading out the door. I, I wouldn't do it. I would not do it, not during the storm. And the temperatures seem to be dropping here. The wind starting to pick up even more than earlier today. One driver tells us these are the worst conditions, driving conditions he has seen in a while. Reporting live, Kerry Carano, 